Okay, so we're here. It's the first round of the MRC King of the Hill. We've got 32 players in. We've got John Jacobs playing Dan Richards today. Uh, they're just about to lag off. It's a first to 10. I'm excited for this. Who's in? Chuck a, chuck a mention in the comments if you can go to our YouTube channel and share this onto your Facebook. That would be great. I think we're up for a good match today and many, many good matches to come. We've got Nathan Davis coming down, I think about one o'clock. So in a couple of hours, we've got one more match to go. Plenty of pool today. Let's take our time. I'm sure Dan will. I'm sure John will probably take even longer. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, bear with us. Technical difficulties going on. What's what's going on? Like it's not. He's broke out there. Ah. Uh, fuck. So whatever. Whatever's going on with that is uh, is not quite right. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think I think we're live. Okay, <laughs> let us let us know if we uh, if we messed up there. I think I think it was. I think it was. Okay, I think I think they're going to continue. Right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Couple of couple of difficulties with the mic to begin with. Uh, actually, then Q score and then even the camera. So we're getting them all in. It's the it's the first stream. Let's get them all out the way now. We don't want any in the finals. Okay, Dan is Reds. I think it was Dan's a break. They lagged off. Dan won the lag. So Dan is in the first frame on for a dish. And is he's missed that and pushed a red safe. And I believe John has a chance here. Take the first frame. Laura Williams just subscribed. Hello. Uh, looks like John's going to go for a bit of a safety here and maybe it's bounced up a bit too far and he's left down the red over the pocket but a little bit of work to do with the two reds at the top of the table Dan having won the flyer here on Thursday he's probably in uh High form, a lot of confidence. But again, has just missed another ball there. And John, probably going to try and cover the pocket down here. I think John's a bit of a safety tactician. I think he will want to tie this game up as much as he possibly can. Try and take Dan right down to the wire. But Dan will continue to battle through and go for them, as you can see, leaving himself on this red that clearly... Well, it goes, but it's a, it's a tough, tough cut at the top. But should he miss, maybe cover the bag. And maybe that was his intention and push the yellow safe. So John coming back to the table now. My guess is going to try and sneak in behind them two yellows down the bottom of the table. And he got the double kiss and just popped the white ball out. Leave down with a nice long tester. Chose to play it soft. And result is... Red has bounced out. And he's leaving John yet another chance. So a fair few chances happening. And again, another miss. Pressure of being the uh, the first match. 
I'm not quite sure. Will Dan continue? No. He will pot. He won't continue the missing. I think there's a another visit yet for John. He's coming back to the table, even if Dan was to pot that ball there. That red was completely tied up. Now, John only really has an option of a, a safety here, so and he's got a long pot, potentially, but I wouldn't fancy taking that on. Yeah, he's played that well. That's a nice shot. He's just come off the side cushion to kill the speed of the white ball and leave it, I believe, snookered on that red on the top cushion. Maybe you can just see it. Maybe he can. He's queuing it. Plays it with a touch of side. Yeah, he's come off right there. White ball's on the cushion. Both reds are easily potable. And the black is well in the open. Yay. John gone for the pot there, I think. And, uh, hasn't quite got it. Will Dan take this cut on? It's a thin one. He does. Clatters into the black and has come off half okay. I mean, the white ball's now running into that yellow. I don't think you can get to the right-hand side of the yellow, so maybe the white ball's staying at the top of the table. I don't know. No, he can screw past it. Okay, nice shot. And... Fairly thin, cut into the centre, and plays it with pace, gets it. With bottom on the white to avoid the in-off, and it's 1-0 to Dan Richards. John Jacobs to break. Okay. John Jacobs to break. Have we got any predictions for this match? We've got 10 million viewers in there. I would assume some of them friends of the... Contestants gets two reds, leaves a small bunch. So you can't. Well, you don't really think that John's gonna clear up from here. He's gone for it. He's gone for it. That's unlucky. Yes, Finch. This is the first. First match of the King of the Hill. We've got Nick Smith playing Nathan Davis at 1 p.m. Nathan Davis, he's uh, the current Welsh Closed champion and Welsh Masters champion. He's got a few a few trophies to his name. That'll be an exciting one to watch. Okay, so John's got actually got an angle again off this uh, one in the middle. He tried to go into the pack before. Will he try it again? I think he probably will. He was just looking at that top red and seeing if he can get maybe an angle off that. But no, he's gone into it now. Oh, he's played that well. 
He's, he's played that well. So he's either got the double on this top red now to leave himself then the longer red, or he can take this longer red on, maybe top it through and leave this bottom one, come back up. Plays it with pace. White comes back to the center of the table. Mm. I think we're going to be in for a bit of a safety battle again now. So Dan's probably going to roll this and try and take this bottom bag. I'm going to assume that's the way this match will go. Neither players are going to want to lose this. It's the it's the first match, but it's uh, I mean, the field that we have. It goes look what a pot. Left himself a double. Black's tied up a little bit. Hello, Brian. Morning. Come down and watch it live. Oh, gets the double. Oh, how's your luck? How's your luck? So, thin cut, top left, white ball, natural angle-ish to come round and potentially knock this black into a potable position. Show us what you got, John. He's playing the... <laughs> uh, yeah, J John laughed himself there. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> okay, Miss Q, unlucky. So, again, I think Dan's going to continue theme of safety play. And instead of potting the red, I'm going to put your red safe on the top cushion. So, should you come back to the table, Mr. John, then it's not going to be easy for you, sir. I'm not sure if he's... I think he might be going for this pot here now. So it's really a shot to nothing if he if he cuts this yellow in and the white ball was always staying down the bottom of the table. I, really a shot to nothing there. So nice shot. Still out to get the pot. Should be... Fairly simple from here. Maybe a little bit of travelling up and down the table, but... Maybe go up for that now, off this one. He opts for the middle, then top, to then come back down. Shouldn't need to use the cushion here. Maybe just bring it straight back down. Like so. Close to that middle bag. As you can see, Even if he misses that yellow there, earlier putting that red safe, gave him all the confidence to just go for it. Great clearance, 2-0 to Dan. Long way to go. These players will get wins of good form, bad form, first to 10. It's a long race. Okay, Dan to break. Comes up dry, I believe. So what is John Jacobs going to do to get himself back into this match? Does he continue to play safe? Does he just start going for it? Taking out these clearances. Uh, no, maybe not, yeah. So it is, yeah, it is 2-0 to, to Dan Richards. Um, the scores will update, they, the players do it themselves. 
So John going for that there. Maybe he heard me. So a tough opener here for Dan. Looks like he's cutting into the middle and doesn't quite get it and pushes a yellow safe. Tying up a red as well, so... Again, it's going to be another tight frame. Wonder if we will see a dish from these two. They are just continuing to play safe. Okay, Dan's gone for that. He's come close. I think he went for the cross double to knock the yellow out. Leaves himself, I think, enough of that yellow in the center of the table, the one on the right, to get past. And have a second bite and gets it with side and double kisses the red. <laughs> Nightmare. Unlucky. Unlucky, Dan. He's had enough of safety. He's got his two-frame cushion. He's happy to have a stab now. Played the plant. He's come close. Not quite. Unlucky. Can't see too much here for... John in this frame. Dan's definitely in control. Um, yeah, reds are way more difficult to, to clear up from here. Um, I guess try and push the yellow safe. He's gone for the pot. Didn't quite get it. I believe Dan has an angle now. And I think it's fairly natural angle to pop this yellow in behind this red. And maybe the angle looks completely different up here to down there. I think he can cut that in and maybe not. Dan, Dan's brain just working there. He's gone for the triple and he got it. I tell you what, great shot, Dan. Great shot. Lovely shot. Okay, on for the double. Make sure he removes that triple angle out of his head, otherwise he will pot the red on the opposite middle. Just caught the knuckle. Naturally, now John's got a fairly good chance, potentially now, to, to pot this yellow over the pocket. I would have done it off that shot then. All you have to do is catch that red thin over that middle bag. And because the white traveled down, he had to hit that red so much thicker to create the angle to get into the yellow. And unfortunately, missed the pot. So Dan's brain is in double mode. So he's going to go for The double on this yellow, I think. Comes off with a fairly good white. But. The yellow has landed fairly safe. Uh, and that red down on the bottom right. Is in a potable position now to knock that yellow out from that corner pocket. So. Good luck, Danny, from Mia and Lucas. I'm not sure if Dan will see that right now, but I'm sure he will watch it back. Just avoid the in-off. So I, I, I think there's a chance now for John um, to go for this. The red... Down on that bottom cushion just makes life so much easier. So 
John decides no. And uh, maybe now Dan is thinking, well, I've just got to go for this. I'm 2 not up. Looking at... Where does that yellow go? It's tough. I think he's going to try and just screw into it. Deep screw. Gets into it. And I tell you what, that's some shot. Lovely shot there, Dan. Still a little bit of work, I believe. Especially now for that other yellow. Maybe he's just got to leave himself the double. Just pop the pop the yellow. Run the white into the red and leave yourself that double. Instead, he's tried to go up. Oh, I tell you what, he's come off the knuckles. <laughs> he's come he's come down and he's landed plum. Or as plum as you could uh as plum as you could want. Oh off that shot. Doesn't get it chance for John come on John let's get one on the board when your opponent starts getting two three four frames on the board and you haven't got one it, yeah there's a it's a pretty bad feeling and getting one on the board early nice shot Gets the snooker. Almost gets the in off. Okay, Dan did go and actually watch Chris Mellon uh, a couple of weeks ago, so I think Dan's going to be pretty confident with this. <laughs> Three cushions. No, he's gone for one cushion. Left hand side to straighten the white up. And Wow. Unlucky Dan. Unlucky Dan. Very, very good attempt there. Very good attempt. Okay, John now in control of this frame. Take this one up the top. A little bit of sh top spin. That's it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The only gap that he could have left him. And again, Dan misses. Uh, Gi uh, Giant. Brian said spot. I mean, shot. <laughs> okay, John. Chance now. Tough shots on the on this table to play that with pace. He doesn't play it with pace. He accepts that he's going to have a tougher shot by playing that shot with less pace. Goes for the double to try and leave a safe white, I think was the intention, but puts a little bit too much on it and has left Dan a pretty good chance here. I think that red's saving the in-off angle, um, so just really needs to get the pot. Uh, he put a little bit left-hand side on that that he didn't need to. Uh, I think the red was saving the in-off, so has resulted in a total snooker, I believe. Not sure. Oh, actually, yeah, no, definitely is. I can see on the other camera angle. So because it's a total snooker, Dan's trying to roll up in behind it. Doesn't quite get it, and... Here we go, Mr. John. Let's get the frame on the board. Playing it into the middle. Small bit of angle. Actually, isn't so bad that that's held up, but, I mean, it doesn't make too much difference. Lovely pot. Just a touch of screw back on this. Instead, just rolls it in, accepts a slightly longer pot. Can make things difficult when you start thinking about different... Oh, it rattled! It rattled! 
John Jacobs, he gets that one on the board, and it's 2-1. Two one. Nice break dish here from John. Bring it back to two all. That's what we come to see. The drama. I think there will be a lot of that in this match and in all matches of this King of the Hill. I can't wait for the uh, all of the clips that we get at the end. Oh, nasty and off. Nasty and off. I think he just caught the side of the pack and the White's just pretty much cocked hat into the... Uh, straight into the centre of the bag with the assistance of a red forcing it in there. Could see a reverse dish then. Not the easiest of tables, so Dan is going to want to do a bit of sorcery down there, like so. Spread them open a little bit more, a bit more breathing space. I was thinking reds, but... Maybe, yeah, I think it's still got to be reds, but. Key shot. I think he's trying to develop as well. And because of it, has missed. And with two shots, because of the spread of the table off the break, has resulted in a still open table, even with two shots. Almost the same position for John. Takes on the red down the bottom, doesn't get it. Okay, red's looking even more like the colour now because I think that red... Down the bottom left of the screen, kind of in the open, is uh, passes past the yellow now, so... Yeah, he's just... Probably got to see soon that the black doesn't go. Um, maybe looking to develop that soon, or sooner rather than later. Or maybe it does go at the top corner. There's a there's a slight gap between the yellow and black, so maybe it does go, and he's leaving that red down the bottom right as his last ball for a reason. Nope, looking to go into it, and actually. Maybe able to screw into it now, uh, behind this red, off the bottom cushion. But it's a super, super tough shot, that. Just loads of bottom. Yeah, he's played that well. Look at that. So, yeah, leaving this uh, bottom right red as his last ball, because well, either he's going to go into it. Um, there's a target on the black or the middle yellow that should leave you... Uh, <laughs> come on Dan mum and dad uh, text green game over elbow cough can't quite see what them things are but a slight angle now perfect angle to either screw straight into the black or leave it at the top po corner pocket as I said before so there was a reason why Dan didn't disturb that black and that's why Tough to see, and not everyone will see it, and he's missed. And let's John Jacob in, Jake Jacobs in with another chance. Get his name right in a minute. And the black is, is slightly safe as well, so, I mean... 
pot these three down the bottom now. He's maybe even go for that one on the. Uh, oh, I was going to say go for the one on the. Hold up, where's this landing? Hold up, John. Ref. If it's not total, he's definitely bought the pot an angle. It's, I think it's total. Yeah, I think it's total. Well, you got to take the highs with the lows, man. Touch the left-hand side and kicked it straight in off. Unlucky. Unlucky. Big chance now, John. Bring it back to a tool. Let's go. Oh, I can see the little emojis now down in the uh, in the chat. Game over. And a, and a little dab, it, it seems. Okay, John. Chance. You've got one awkward yellow, sir. I'd maybe put a little bit more angle on this, sir. Uh, I mean, he's, uh, he's all right there. It's, it's okay. I'm sure he'd prefer it over the pocket, but I'm sure he won't grumble. Gets a lovely pot there, and I'd be looking to take this one over the middle now. You've got a perfect chance to pot this one in the middle, come around the back of it, and play that other one in the middle, because coming back at the table later... To find the perfect angle would be hard, so yeah, or we'll just roll it in, leave it in the top pocket. That will do. Less traveling. Nice pot. Here we go. Could be two apiece. What are we saying? What are we saying? Mr. John. He's doing it. Alid's not here to witness it. And he didn't wake up. The tester. The tester. Oh, no. Oh, he's hit it into the cushion. He's rattled it. He's left Dan an in-off in the middle. Dan, do you want the in-off? How hard are you going to hit this? Do you... Oh. I tell you what. He's not... I think that was in a different postcode, that one. He's missed that by a fair bit. I'm quite sure what happened there. Uh, he won't be happy with that. He certainly won't be. Not sure if it was lack of focus and John's it that too thin and almost come the other side. And... Uh, Instead, leave himself, and he's just looked straight down into the uh, <laughs> try January's hurting Dan. <laughs> Instead, John just plays a little safety again. <laughs> Ronaldo says shambles. Ah, oh, it's looking like a shambles. Uh, any any long race can look a shambles in a in a short space of time. There'll be good pull, bad pull played. Take the highs or the lows, and <laughs> Dan's just gone. In off. Is this league rules? Uh, well, I'm not quite sure what league rules mean. I think that depends where you are in the country. Um, but this is backball rules. And John with two shots <laughs> rolls in the black. And uh, I think the boys will maybe want a, an hour's break now after that frame of pull. Two apiece. And to break. Two apiece. It's heating up now, look. It's heating up. Straighten off. Oh, he's close. He's kicked in off the middle. Oh, my God. It's incredible. Oh, oh, it's a nasty game sometimes. 
He's just gone to all after missing. Oh, we don't like to talk about it, but uh, he won't be happy with that. Get, getting kicked and off. So, I believe yellows are the colour. I believe John needs to play that yellow in behind the black to cover the bottom left pocket. And leave himself the two down the bottom, right hand side of the table. But instead, he's uh, just looking to take yellows. Get the balls off the table. Does have an awkward yellow. He's just come up okay there. Um, I probably would be going for the, the cut of the plant. Instead has gone for the cannon. Look at it. Or the carom, shall we say. So uh, I believe is the technical term. Carom. Don't quote me on it. Because I'll never be 100%. I'm just human. And John gets a mighty triple. Look at that. Leaves himself bridging with a thin cut. Oh, just slightly undercuts it. And Dan will certainly be looking to take control now. He won't be happy. Let's get a snooker. Let's tie things up. Let's take control. Get two shots. Put that yellow on the top cushion. Take the balls out. And we almost see a replica of... I think it was the second frame that we had. Unless... Unless! Oof! Tell you what, John. Not you, John, over there, but... John, the commentator, you know. Okay. Dan, definitely playing another snooker here. Wants to avoid the double kiss and or leave the gap. Oof. He's okay, just. I think, uh, yeah, John was also there watching the Chris Melling thing. So they'll be loving these escapes and angles. Look at it. Look at it. Leaving it safe as well. Tying that red up a little bit more. I mean... That's what happens when you go to these exhibitions. You learn a whole world of pull. Shots you didn't even know that were there. Look at that. Dan using the red as a stopper. And I think after he stuns up off this one, I think he's going to try and go into it off this other red. I don't think he's quite got the angle now. That's why he's taking his time. I think he's got enough angle just to stun it up. And he, okay, playing the safety, fair enough. Let's make sure of it. Let's not take any risks. But that yellow touching the red, John Jacobs knows that if he comes off one cushion, like so, he can pop this yellow. So everything that Chris taught him last week. Oh. Well, you might come around the back of it then. Foul, two shots. Dan. That's what you wanted when you were playing them snookers. Two or three visits ago. So Dan is the Luke Litter of the pool world. <laughs> Dan is Luke. So <clears throat> I think, I mean, in terms of age, um, I think Dan's got like 16-year-old kids. No, I'm joking. He hasn't really, but... He's certainly not 16, is he? Um, he is class. He is class. I don't think he's world runner-up champion uh, in pool yet. Yet. But he was off to the county trials last week. He got himself a spot there in the uh, county... I think it's the South Powers pool team. It's uh, a team that actually I used to play in many moons ago. I think it was, we're probably looking about 15 years ago, I was playing in, in that team amongst, I think Brian Hammond was there a couple of times. Justin Bishop, 
Paul Robinson, he's in the chat there. Uh, I think there's a, still a couple of boys playing in the team, current team, who Dan will be playing with, like Wayne Jones, class player, Ed Lewis. Oh, uh, no, Ed, Ed won't be playing in there, I don't believe. Ed Lewis was in there. Um, Martin Griffiths, not sure if he's still in there. Mike Griffiths is a nice shot there by Dan. I was missing the pull there for a moment, but yeah. Uh, Keno, I think he's uh, referencing Roy Keane there. Not sure. <clears> hmm. <throat> he's playing the plant. Is this for a safer white or because that I was going to say that other red is pushing that yellow out if he misses and he's given John another massive chance here and John could see himself ahead. Let's go, Johnny. Oh, it's the moose juice. It has to be the moose juice. Look at it. It's perfect. Tell you what, whoever comes down to play, it's you need a can of moose juice because look what this stuff does. <laughs> John Jacobs, Dan throwing the ball down the table. Yeah, he, he's not going to be happy with that. <clears throat> he wants to. Uh, yeah, he's 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 got work to do now. Yeah, we've got a match. We got three two to John Jacobs. This is exciting. Hello. Okay, apologies, we're back, and we're back at 3-2 to Mr. John Jacobs. It's a race to 10. Quarter of a way there. And John leads the first quarter, 3-2. Some people have their... Oh, he's gone to the old uh, old setup there, but, I mean, we won't worry too much about it. It's, uh, I mean, maybe we can... Uh, I'll let him know. I'll let him know. How many players in the tournament? We've got 32 players. Um, that consists of... IPA amateurs, uh, IPA pros, ultimate pool pros, ultimate pool amateurs. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, didn't set them up properly, frame conceded. I... We won't squabble too much over it. We'll let the players know. As much as we want to keep this as a a rule hard rule tournament but at the same time we want to enjoy this in your expert opinion do you think Dan can win the whole thing I mean I think that the the field that we have is uh, I think it's uh, you know we've we've got four professionals. We've got uh, players that should be professionals, um, could be professionals. Yeah, it's 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 a tough tournament to win, um, and especially as you go into the later rounds, we're looking at first to fifteens. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think whoever wins it fair play to them because it, it, this is going to be a tough one like it's it's just going to be tough um bell james to win the lot <laughs> yeah. 
Would a giraffe wear a tie at the top of his neck or the bottom of his neck? I mean, it's a great question. Um, I think he'd probably just stick it on his ankle, to be honest. Uh, that's, you know, I don't... I'm no expert. I'm no expert in anything, really, to be honest. Uh, I'm just a... A beginner in all. That's just because I want to learn. Look at that shot. Lovely shot. Develops it. Um, I think it sneaks in off this yellow into the middle pocket. He's looking at it now and doesn't have to do much with the white. Just done it back to where it is. Um, tough shot. Well. On, someone say it. Someone say it. Bless you. Bless me. So, total snooker for Mr. John. Uh, gets it on the third go across. Second. Thank you, Mr. Binley. Mega pickle. Bless you too. I think uh, it's only a very small icon. I'm going to say. I mean, I probably shouldn't this day and age. Sir. Looks like a sir. Dan. Bless you too, Mr. Pickle. Does anyone like Rick and Morty? Pickle Rick. Look at that! Look at that cut! Look at the. Forget Rick and Morty. Let's get to the pool. What's going on? What a cut. Big double. Oh, he's missed. Unlucky. He's come out back down to the center of the table, though. <laughs> oh. Okay, we've just got a bit of overlay there, so move that down. The chat is getting too long, you guys. Never had so many people talking. We're up to 30 million people now. Uh, big double misses. Is the yellow going to stop in time? No, it's not. Leaves down the pot, I believe, into the top pocket. And, uh, yeah, Dan needs this. Needs it. It's there. Gets it. He's a pressure man. Three apiece. Okay, so I believe one of the players have gone to powder their nose. Not like that. Okay, be back in a short moment. Okay, we're back in. Yeah, set it up right now, Dan. Come on, Daniel. Don't forget to wash your hands, Dan. 
Dan certainly hasn't gone to powder his nose. He's come up dry again. <laughs> Mr. Jacobs pounces up to the table. He's here for a fight. Uh, did you? Hmm. Why? <laughs> I was I was watching the pool, but I mean, it's I guess it's kind of each to their own, isn't it? You know. Okay, back to the pool. Come on. We haven't had any uh, predictions from from anyone who's. Who's willing to give us a prediction? He's covering the pocket. Covering the pocket. And pushing that yellow... Uh, that Sorry, that red. A little bit further out. So it's... Uh, he's, he's looking all right here, John. He might find himself snookered now. Oh, gets that. A little bit of luck there. Off two cushions off the white, back into the middle. Ten seven to Dan. So we've got our first prediction. Ten seven, Mr. Dan. Oh, it just drops. Just drops. Leaves himself the angle now. He's going to come across. He's definitely going to screw into these. Uh, yeah, def. You know, definitely. You know, at some point in this frame, definitely. Um, Paul is always the winner. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's just a game. Goes for the fin cut, catches the knuckle, and it's a nightmare. I think the yellow on the right-hand side uh, maybe goes in the top pocket, but ugh, you don't really want that, do you? Just tries to push that red safe. So, at three all, John Jacobs is on another clearance. Could see himself ahead again in this match. Has an angle to come into this red. Oh, I thought he was going for the one in the middle. Okay, fair enough. I mean, he doesn't really need to go into that red. But... Has a, a chance to play it now and is going to because the yellows are slightly tied up. Lovely pot. Lovely pot. I feel he needs to come down the table now and then back up for this one in the middle and is going to do that. So a little bit of left hand side on this just to come back up the table. Doesn't quite get the pace but does have a pot into the top corner. Bring the white back down. Okay, Dan, you've got to go home, mate. Your, your dinner's ready. But failing that you can't get home, um, I'm more than happy for someone to bring it here, and I'll eat it. There's only one Dan Richards, one Dan Richards walking along, singing a song, walking in a Kino Wonderland. And that's it. That's Mr. Dan. Clearly... Uh, That's a league chant, so I'm assuming that Mr. Binley Mega Pickle is um, maybe a team member of Dan's. He got no fans, and I would maybe be thinking that Mr. Philip Jones is also one of them. Doesn't quite get enough contact on that black. If you want some, I'll give it you. But, oh no, and he's rattled another black. Mr. John, another chance. And John's thinking, if you want some, I'll give it you. You won't do me. And a, f and a super simple black. 4-3, John. Four, three. Mr. John.
Well, 4 3, John Jacobs. Dan's missed a few blacks. Um, I'm going to say that that last one wasn't simple, uh, but the, the one in the, the previous frame that he lost was. Um, has taken out a nice couple of clearances. He gets a red, gets two reds. And. Not a straightforward clearance from here, so maybe another tactical frame. When's Neil Powell playing and against who? Uh, ooh, uh, Neil Powell is playing. Bear with me. So John's gone reds. And played quite a nice shot there. Um, all the reds now do go, and even the black. Um, Dan's thinking that if he takes this one at the top with a bit of top spin, he can get a safe white. And like so, plays a lovely pot. I'm getting there for the uh, the Neil Powell game. Just bear with me. Neil Powell is playing Michael Smout, and actually, I believe that that game is being played on the 28th of, yeah, 28th, Sunday the 28th, that game uh, will be on. Dan, give us a wave. Daniel, Daniel, give us a wave. Come on, Dan. They're all rooting for you, Dan. They're all there for you. Ooh, okay. If that yellow passes into this bottom left corner, he does have an angle just to stun the white down. Or come a bit further and leave it for the middle pocket. And that will do. Um, it looks like it goes. But it's uh, it's also looking like the white is going to go in off. So he's choosing the cut into the... Oh, not the cut. He's gone for the double. And Lee... Oh, he's left John... Um, a nice long bridge over that black, which I don't think he can reach to pop the one into this bottom pocket. And will opt for a snooker behind the black and plays it well. Gets the snooker. Uh, Dan's got a fairly simple escape. There's a lot of room for error coming off this side cushion because you do come off the side cushion. You might pot it and he's unlucky. Not quite. He wasn't far off though. My apologies, I got pulled away there. Uh, so a bit of a safety battle going on. Uh, who would win out of Ronaldo? 111,000 and Phil Reese. Um, I don't actually know either, so I'm going to have to say I don't know. 
But if anyone has any guesses, then we're open. Okay. Come on, Dan. Get yourself back for all. And he does. He gets it. He's there. We're four apiece. Okay, I'm just going to leave you uh, with the pull at the moment. I'm just going to have to shoot off a second. To powder my nose, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're back. Looks as though Dan's on reds. Takes on a big double. There's still work. I'm just figuring out to take myself now. The black is safe. Um, that red doesn't go. That red up the top. Over that corner pocket, I believe, also doesn't pop from where he is. So, kind of in no man's land right now. Not what he wanted. Gone for the big cut and nearly gets it with a double kiss. Instead pushes the red safe. Okay. So, John probably going to go for the snooker now. He needs to take control of this table. There is an extension out there should he need it. It's a long reach. Pushes the yellow safe. Well, not safe, but, you know, it's on the bottom cushion. It could have been a lot better. Okay, that's not too bad, but maybe the yellow does pass through the middle of them two reds with a plant. If so, it could be a clearance on. It could we see uh, John Jacobs take himself one frame ahead again? Possibly. It seems to be the theme. Okay, looking to play this yellow off this red, I believe. Yeah. Nice shot. I believe it's a thin cut. I think the white is running into the yellow, so should you just commit fully to the pot? Okay, he's going for the cut into the middle. 
or even the double. Cut into the center and gets it. Lovely pot. And has that left himself, I think, a pretty good angle here just to pot this yellow. Don't need to do anything with the white ball. Apart from, obviously, missed that in off. But, uh, yeah, he's all right here. Shoot in bat. Shoot in. Ah, shoot in. And instead of going for a tough black, leaves the yellow over the pocket. Dan, back to you. And like a game of tennis, as quickly as that. John, back to you. And out. I mean, Dan was pretty far out with that again. It was, uh, that was wide. That was, like, seriously wide. And has resulted in this. Could see himself down again. John digging deep. He digs. And I tell you what, he's finding gold because he's 5-4 up. He's 5-4 up. I think we're taking a short break here, guys. I think we're taking a short break. I could be wrong. John Jacobs with a big break. Dan's county call up has gone to his head. I mean, Paul can go like this. Unless you're a professional that does this day in, day out, then you have to expect very highs, very lows, very difficult, very easies. It's, yeah, Paul's, Paul's a tough game. Dan, where's your head at? Where's your... Head uh where's your head at? Oh, it's a two shotter. Miss Q. Double it the white. Didn't hit a cushion. Could be four shots even. Dan does it every day. He just pretends to work in the blue bell. Lanny. So with two shots, hasn't, or maybe did go for them, but hasn't left a huge amount for Mr. John. Move your bold head out of the way, Dan. There's a, a super interesting book called Behave by Robert Sapolsky. It talks about human behavior and how great we can be as humans and how nasty we can be as humans. Friends love to rile their friends up with comments like that. Dan, get your half moon out of the way. He's going for it. He is going for it. He's going to I think try and screw the full length of the table now, leave himself on the top cushion. Nope. Played to leave himself a thin cut into the middle. 
I think pretty natural angle just to land on the top cushion now, even... Well, I'm saying natural angle. Yeah, it is natural angle. Here we go. Nice shot. This isn't straight, so... And I believe black passes, so... Just a fairly simple shot. Comes around off two cushions. Touch a left-hand side. I'm looking down the barrel of the gun now on the other camera. And he gets it. Okay, Dan's back. Dan is back. Five apiece. This is like a, a game of tennis. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, it's got 7-5 written all over it. It's first to 10, so uh, we'll be a couple of frames short if we finish there. But 7-5, which way do you say? We're so proud of you, Daddy, Dan, from Mir and Lucas. We're proud of him too. We're proud of anyone who goes out there and plays in this tournament. It's uh, It's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's streamed. There's people talking about your game. Judging it. What a great pot there. Lovely pot. Plays it off that red just to open up these reds. And he's looking to play this red off this yellow to open the other red up. This ha He has to catch this thin. This is tough. This is tough. Oh, gets it. Lovely shot. Lovely shot. He's on for a dish. Take himself... One frame ahead instead of one frame behind for, I think, the last four or five frames. Catches the knuckle. Doesn't quite. Doesn't quite. I mean, I've played Dan many times at here in the, uh, the weekly flyers that we have. And many a time Dan has broken dished me. Many a time have I seen him break and dish people in them flyers whether this king of the hill is just that slightly different feel to it and it's you know a big tournament that now there's four professionals in all these players competing for the same thing a big cash prize is obviously the main thing we're looking at i can't remember off the top of my head i think it was 500 for the winner, I believe. Um, and then we've got the loser's bracket as well, which goes into its own separate competition, which I believe, again, don't quote me on it, is around about £200 for the winner. So a fairly big uh, prize for this tournament. It was only £30 entry. Oh, Dan. Okay, he's got the red at the top for a little bit of insurance, but he missed a black similar to this in the first frame. I mean, it was maybe the black was a little bit harder and being a bit harsh there, but he, he overcut the black uh, in the opposite corner earlier on. So maybe that's putting doubt in his mind, but I don't know. I mean, he's bridging as well. Is This is... Not easy, and he hasn't landed the best there. Whether he can just sneak past and see enough of this red, or whether the red goes off a yellow, or... It's tight. Yeah, he gets it. Good pop. And it looks like Dan is now one frame ahead. Gets himself there, composes himself with that. Nice clearance there, Dan. 6 5. It's 
So Nick Smith is in the building. He is uh, playing the next match at 1pm after these guys. Nick is the uh, table maintenance genius technician here at the MRC Pool Club. He's also the table technician for many tables now across the country. I believe he's just uh, signed a fairly big contract. He was just telling me before. Uh, yeah. Okay, bear with me one second. John? Okay, so John again, looking to uh, set them up at the old fashion. Let's get it right. Just pop that there to let him know. There he is. I said John, and he responded, fuck. <laughs> he knew. It's not a foul break, but they haven't split. And uh, whether John prefers frames of pull like this, or whether he's just not quite hitting his break today. But Dan prefers reds here. Because that red does pop down the bottom of the table. I believe in the bottom right pocket. I mean, I, I don't know where you sort of start with this clearance now. It's... Uh, Looking to pop this red down the rail and squeeze through that gap of the yellows and push the red over the other corner. Misses the pot, catches it too thick. And doesn't leave John a great, great load here. It's uh, one cut. It was close too, so didn't want to push shot. Caused him to miss. Now, I believe Dan will go for these. Commentator, are you at the venue? I am indeed. I am. I'm in a small little recording studio about 15 metres away from the pool table. And Dan has just gone in off. I can hear the ball rolling down the table. Yeah, we've got a girl playing in this uh, tournament. Oh, cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Nick Smith has just donated £100 into the pot for this tournament. Nick will be playing his match after this versus Nathan Davis who recently messaged me asking for the postcode so I believe is well on his way now and John has gone for an almighty split there smash them open he's going for it he wants his lead back yeah we have uh, we have girls playing in this tournament John's just fouled there. Not quite sure what he was doing. He was just trying to roll onto that yellow on the bottom cushion and leave a safe white instead. He's committed a foul and uh, handed control now to Dan. Can he get the clearance from here? He needs that red out from the bottom left-hand side of the table. He's unsure. This isn't easy. He will want to take these out. He just will. Takes the white. He'll take his time here. Plays the three ball plant to develop the black and this red. He's actually come off okay. He's on this one in the middle, so should he get this pot? It's fairly straightforward from here. Gets it. Nice pot. 
just needs to stun this. Leave this red into the middle. Um, instead, comes right back past it. He prefers to travel a bit more with the white. That's fine. Needs to bring this back as well. And does, but lands... If not straight, then slightly off. Yeah, he's okay. And will we see Dan with a 2-0 lead now? And I think we will. And just to make sure of it, nestles the white in amongst them yellows. If I miss, good luck playing from there, sir. 7-5, Dan Richards. We had a... Uh, well, got 7-5 written all over it. You were right. Um, I think we had um, a prediction of 10-8 to Dan, a prediction of 10-7 to Dan. Uh, I think this whole stream comments is just full of Dan's friends giving him as much shit as they can. Good, so be it. Nearly goes in off and nightmare. I don't know if he can see uh, a yellow here. Oh yeah, I forgot to. Yeah, can I ask Dan if he's on Warzone? Uh, Warzone mentioned and he's upped. He's upped his game. <laughs> yeah, I'll ask him. I'll ask him when he comes in. I tell you what, when he comes in for his uh, post-match interview then uh, you can ask him yourself let's go for that and Dan's gone for an almighty shot around the table 19 cushions double kiss cocked hat triple double didn't quite get it yeah I believe Dan will be playing a lot of pool here so for all you guys in here watching him subscribe to the channel we may even just dedicate a uh, a playlist completely to Dan himself as he climbs his way up through the ranks of County Pool. Maybe, who knows, you could see him at the IPA and maybe turn professional and who knows. Let's give Dan his channel. Let's give the man what he wants. He's clearly good at the game, enjoys it, likes it. Let's give him the love and support that he needs. And gets a lovely white there. Doesn't go for anything, just leaves the uh, decision making up to John completely. Can't really blame him. I think it's open table. I mean, Dan's just in a. comfortable position again with this 2-0 lead. More acquaintances than friends, really. Yeah, I mean, having understood he's in off. Oh, he's in off. Could we see John coming back now? Yeah, having lived on this uh, planet for about 30 years, I believe that more, more acquaintances than friends, really, I believe that means that you're best friends, I'm not sure. Especially if Warzone's mentioned. If any of you play Rocket League, I'm, uh, I'm up for a game of that. Or chess. Or pull. Pull. Will we see any of you come into these tournaments? Are you going to come and play in these? Who knows? Mad to beat. I th mad to think I beat a county player in the 2023 Benidorm Triangle Bar Open. Who's the county player in the 2023 Benidorm Triangle Bar Open? Is that uh, Dan Richards by any chance? John not done much with his two shots there and actually just given Dan a, a chance to clear up now and, and maybe go three frames ahead. I don't think there's much work to do here. 
Not a plan. Afternoon chaps, the people's champ, Dan, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Dan is the man. Uh, he reminds me a little bit of Batman. Dan the man. If he can play for county, so can I. But that's it. It's uh, County is... Uh, I, I, from my experience, is a, is a super highly varied quality of pool. You can have somebody who maybe is very good at pool in practice and then put on a match table, can't quite perform, but needs that level of competition to up their game. Then uh, I believe that's what county pool is there for. Playing any form of competition is way different to uh, just practice by any means. Curtis Lee is going down, exploring the entity. Who is exploring the entity? Uh, of course, is Mr. Carl Guntrip. Yes, Curtis, Curtis Lee is playing Carl Guntrip from Newtown. That is going to be a quality match. Some fight talk going on in the comments now from the uh, the other players in this. I think this is going to heat up. John covering the pocket. Bit of a tactical frame going on now. I've uh, I've lost track of the pull slightly from the the comments. Oh, Dan's gone for it. He's gone for it. Hasn't left himself much. I think he's going to have to play a slight swerve on this. And, you know, even if he gets that pot, he could be kicking off into that middle bag. Yeah, it's not nice, this. Not easy. So I think a little swerve he's looking for this. Gets it. And there was the close to that middle bag that we spoke about. He's cannon into the black. The black goes into the middle bag and he's landed perfect on the red. And... You know, this is maybe why he could be a county player if he's taken out clearances like this. And that was a pressure red. Lovely pot there. And has got to be happy with that. Lovely clearance. Maybe you could argue a slight bit of fortune off that knuckle, but... Lovely clearance. Oh, Dan, are you on that? Yeah. Yeah, lovely clearance there, Dan. John, three, f three frames behind. He's shaking his head there. He knows that he was, he was a frame ahead, and then it was equal, and it was a frame ahead, and then it was equal, and he was a frame ahead, and then now he's just seen himself three frames behind. He's not happy. He's not happy. He needs, he needs magic now. It's. Uh, yeah, you've got to win five. If Dan wins just one more, he's on the hill, and this is tough. This is tough. Woo! How are you feeling, Nick, for your match, mate? <laughs> Nick's excited for his match. He's excited. I think Nathan's going to be here soon. <laughs> He'll be here soon. Big break. Nearly kicked in off. But has come up dry. Yellows looking like the colour. Easy first ball. Into the centre. Nothing with a white. He's okay. He's pushed the yellow safe. So be it. If John has a vape with him, everybody in the chat has to get has to give me a tanner. <clears throat> Uh, so there's 30 people in the chat, so that would be, so you'd be £300 up, should that be the case. Um, or, depending on what the rules are, uh, I believe John has two or maybe three vapes on him. Um, so, you could be looking at about 900 quid up here, mate. So, not a bad bet, if, uh... If everyone was, was to go for it, but smart game by Dan making John thinking he was winning. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. But it's not over. John, you know, he's taken frames off him earlier on in this match. And there's no reason why he can't do it again. Absolutely no reason. Uh, big double. Doesn't quite get it. Get, maybe, oh, nearly goes in off. Ties the yellow up. And I nearly wore that T-shirt today. That's mad, isn't it? I nearly wore that T-shirt today. I don't know, because he said Jesse, so that was impressive. Genuinely, I picked it up as well. What am I wearing? No, I nearly did. You nearly wore this exact T-shirt. The what? You, you might, yeah. The, <laughs> but it's that on the but, and then it's uh, yeah, my Nirvana T-shirt. I nearly wore. I nearly wore that. Class. Mad. Uh, like yeah. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, we had loads of uh, technical difficulties oh, when it bet. first came on. <laughs> Nightmare. Look. He's an one. Well, we had to. Oh yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Lots of lots of things. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, but we're there, we're there. Is it going through that one? Yes, I believe so, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. It just works, I think. I think they can all hear me, so. Oh, no, was in the chat. Smart game, yeah, oh, cause I've got that, yeah. Hey, Ronaldo, yeah, Ronaldo, yeah. Ronaldo, 111,000, that's his name. Yeah. Or her name. Okay, then. Dan's on now. Could see himself 9-5. Nobody predicted a 10-5 win. If I could get that not quite. Not quite. Not quite. John's going to take control. Pushes the yellow safe. Yeah, but yeah. Another tactical frame going on now. How long will this last? Dan may be looking to squeeze it. I tell you what, yeah, he can He can definitely go for this. He can, oh, I mean, okay, fair enough. You can go for it now. Should you land on it? Or should you snooker yourself? Unlucky. Hard luck. Swerve. Cannon and Chance. Mr. John. This is a chance, sir. That might be okay. Play the one in the middle. Play the back double. White will always stay somewhat... Maybe even play this cut now. Into, into the middle. Because, I mean, the yellows are just not easy. Okay, misses the pot, and as we said, is you know these yellows aren't easy. I think Dan's looking to come up and down the table. I think that uh, the angle is a bit more than that, and I think he will cannon into this yellow should he get the pot. Yeah, and he has, and it's oh, he's not come off. Ah, sh that's unlucky. That that's unlucky. Single cushion escape. Doesn't play it with pace, forces it to slide a little bit, and pushes the yellow onto the cushion. So, John, my guess is uh, going to be a safety. Play the top red, leave the white on the side cushion. Like so. Plays it well. These Newtown guys do. When you play in that league, you have all sorts of fudging. I think Dan looking for two cushions now, bottom cushion as well, and gets a hit. I'll see you later, mate. Leaving John. A chance! Catches a knuckle. Leaves himself the double, and leaves himself an angle to get the white out. Should he miss and not leave the yellow on? Gets the pot. Leaves a cut. Wants to avoid the in-off. Goes for the double instead. Or even the quadruple. Referee. Oh, my life. I don't know why he didn't go for the cut. Nerves. Oh, Dan Richards, 
Oh, Johnny, that's got a sting, sir. Unlucky, mate. Unlucky, mate. Okay, we're one frame away. Dan's on the hill. Bomb, bomb. Oh my Christ, we missed it. Oh no, we missed it guys. I was chatting. I I have to I have to apologize. Oh. It's not over. Not over yet. Sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. Um you can blame Oh, it's the black. It's, oh my oh. god, it's oh, oh wow. What a finish. So we <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, guys, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. We mi we we missed half the frame. Uh, yeah, what a fluke. Yeah, what we need to talk about that. I think I think we need to talk about that. What a fluke. So he's gone for the back double. The back double's going. It got cannoned by a red. It come off the top left cushion. Off the other red. Come off the other red. And just creeped in and just <laughs> snuck into that top corner pocket. Wow. Yeah, that was that was the obvious. That was the obvious <laughs> shot. That was the obvious <laughs> shot there. I agree. Yeah, Mark, it was that. It was the only shot on. It, it, you know, it was, uh, yeah. Wow. What a finish. Uh, Dan Richards, he's through. 10 5 beats John Jacobs. He, John Jacobs will go into the uh, the loser's bracket. I think they've done it. It just takes a second. Um, yeah, so it will continue for both players. Uh, the following round now will be a. Straight knockout. Got to wait for match of the day two now. Yeah, that will be coming on very soon. Uh, someone's just said ruined my day. Ronaldo on chat. Do you know him? Ronaldo. Ronaldo. One one one. Triple zero. Triple one. Triple zero. I haven't got a clue. Because you just ruined their day, or not? Maybe it was me. So what happened in that last frame? I put the ad on um, as you were racking the balls up. I went out there, started chatting to Zach, come back in. Mm. It was a black screen, uh, missed half the frame, saw D Dan's last two yellows and the black, obviously. Um, what do you think of that black? Uh, I probably shouldn't say it on stream. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, to be fair. I was, first couple of frames didn't really get going. Mm. But, um, you know, I felt like I don't know done all right in the uh you know preceding frames had some played some good stuff well played some all right stuff had some yeah decent shots you got yourself ahead a couple of times yeah yeah it was ahead up until five all five all yeah so it was i think I it was three two, i went from two and all down to three two up three two up three all four four three, three. four all yeah five all yeah five five and then down took the lead and then yeah that's yeah. that's when he yeah no complaints though second half of the match he was uh he played well. He, he yeah, did play well. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's and to be fair, I may have been quite fortunate to get into the uh, the three two lead because, you know, he missed chances. He he really could have been five 0 up because he yeah. missed he missed chances in all three of the frames that I won yeah. to take the lead. Yeah, the, he missed a black over the pocket, didn't he? Yeah, uh, rattled the black, left yeah, the bag, yeah. kind of like me in one of the yeah the frames. yeah that's it yeah um, it was yeah I mean Dan got off to a, a bit of a slow start but and then he he yeah he just put the gas down and he he left. I'm his favourite cousin. Is it your your cousin? Yeah. Yeah, I think I know okay. who that is. Okay, there you go then. Although um, by the uh, username Ronaldo, like, who the hell's Ronaldo? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to guess that. Yeah, yeah. 
It's Gary Strider. Anyway, yeah, unlucky John uh, into the losers bracket. Yeah, um, yeah um, hopefully I can uh, you know play play a bit of better. Problem with this, well, no complaints. Like I said in the group chat, mm. competition like this, you're never going to get an easy draw. To no, be. and yeah. to be fair, like. I don't know. I could have had. I could have had worse draws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you could have got Drew. Could, I'm Drew sure you played Drew many times. No, uh, not not that many. Okay. But, uh, I could have had Drew or you know Curtis, Curtis Lee. Lee or, yeah, yeah. Or Cole. Cole or, Bedford. Or, or Alan or any one of you know. Matt Davis. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Sorry, yeah. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, good luck in the next round for the. The losers bracket. There's still two hundred pound yeah. on the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, mate. Cheers. Well Cheers. done. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and uh, let's. Uh, no, what a way to. Yeah. What a way to lose it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> massive, massive fluke. Massive fluke. Oh, cheers, boys. Have Tough a good day. love. Yeah. yeah, well done, mate. Well done. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be um, a short break now before we yeah. go into the next match. Maybe a fifteen-minute break. So we're uh, we're going to cut this stream and we're going to restart. Okay. We yeah. can just leave it. We can just leave it. Watch him. Watch him warm up. Yeah. Watch. All right. We'll mute the mic. We'll yeah. Put some music on. Yeah. We'll leave you with we'll this for ten, fifteen minutes. You may see the players come in and warm up. Mr. Nathan Davis. All right. He's. Uh, He's quite good, I hear. Yeah, he he, po he pots balls. Does he? Yeah, he definitely. Yeah, he definitely pots balls. <laughs> um, I don't think he quite does it for a living yet, but certainly is good enough to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can. Uh, it's going to be an interesting watch. Rename the stream and stuff and repost it. Can you go and get Dan for me? I can get Dan. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Dan, Dan's, Dan is on his way. Dan is on his way. Right then, Dan. Hello. Uh, first of all, mate. Well played. Thank you very much. Uh, Second of all, uh, what was that back in the last frame? <laughs> what, double to the middle? It was going. It was nailed. It was in. It was yeah. nailed. And then the red came and the missed. The red kissed it. Fucked everything up. Yeah. So yeah. easy, obviously. I'll give the eye a shot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then yeah. it just flew in the corner. Uh, and yeah, third. What was that What was that black in the third frame? Third frame. Which one was that? When you missed it in the top left corner. I think it was the third frame. Oh. <sighs> When you think. My memory's terrible. So you had you had the white ball down here yeah. somewhere, and there was the black ball up here, and you just oh, overcut I it. Just think I put unwanted side on it. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, well, that <laughs> just, just careered out of the way. Yeah, just yeah. Uh, I was just like, wow, missed that by yeah, quite terrible. A he then took the lead a couple of times, didn't he? He did. John played very well for the, like the first ten frames, to be fair, and then, yeah. he, then he made a few errors in the coming frames after that, and yeah. Which yeah. I took full advantage of. I yeah. just didn't have much confidence playing, to be honest. I, I could t I could see that I at the start. Know, I couldn't yeah. see anything. Mm. Everything I wanted to play went wrong. Yeah, yeah. And John was just finishing them off. Yeah, as he yeah. was. Such a fluky win. Someone's just said. I mean, nah, that's my cousin, I think. Oh, it's your yeah, cousin, is it? Oh, cool. okay. I thought it was John. Um, I can see them all messaging down here. Yeah, terrible, terrible. yeah. Uh, there's, uh, there's. Th so this chat today has just been full of all of your mates. Yeah, just yeah. ripping me, probably. Yeah, yeah, absolutely <laughs> ripping you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. How I would all, like it. It's all on here. Oh, like class. It's, yeah, it's been. I've been chatting with them. Yeah, I'm glad they tuned in. Yeah, they're in. They've, uh, they've, they've been asking for a wave the whole time. Uh, uh, yeah, he's, he's in the commentary box. Um, yeah, can't be on the camera now. Yeah, so. Uh, Oh, into the next round, that's the main thing. Yeah, into the next round. Um, I wonder if... Oh. This works. Oh, no, I thought it was going to work. Can't wave to the camera. I'll be gutted. We're trying, we're trying. I don't think they're fans, to be honest. No, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. We tried. We tried. But well played, mate. Uh, into Cheers. the next round. Cheers, buddy. Good man. Um, yeah. Through the next games. Next, next one is is random draw. Oh yeah, they're asking if you're on Warzone tonight as well. <laughs> um, Standard behaviour. Yeah. Uh, next round is randomly drawn, so it doesn't know who he's going to get, but we do know that he will get a winner from this round. Um, yeah. Good luck. Cheers. Cheers. Well done. Well Cheers. played. Well we'll played. See you soon. Yeah. See you later, mate. Thank you. Right, then, 
Yeah, we're just going to mute you and uh, or mute me even. Leave the table playing. You'll see the next game pop up very soon. Just uh, give me one more bless you and uh, I'll see you in a bit.